Welcome to part two of my Christmas haul. Hey, it's Care. Welcome to my take at the lake. I didn't really plan to do a part two of this, but I wanted to show you this, so here we go. The first haul I will link below in case you missed it was all arts and craft supplies, mostly art supplies. Big fun. This is mostly dog related, but every bit as much for the craft room and creativity as the other stuff. So I just wanted to show you. I'll start right here at the top with this wonderful notepad. Isn't he just fabulous? I got him specifically to write notes when I send out happy mail or send out packages. I just would, I like to write a little handwritten note and what better? Look at that face. How could you not smile when you see that face? And that's what happy mail is supposed to do, right? He's wonderful. So that this is all from mom this time around. She got me these wonderful stickers. I know I bought myself some of these a very long time ago at Dollar Tree. And I'm pretty sure Leanne got me some too for maybe my birthday or something. She just buys gifts to buy gifts. So I think she just bought me some too. And then I got some this year for Christmas from mom. I've not seen these before. They're, these are three-dimensional. Their little ears are bent. And so they have just a little tiny bit of 3D to them. I don't know if it's coming through on here or not. But the same with these dragonflies. Their wings are doubled. So you have just a tiny bit of 3D plus a little bit of holographic sparkle. Won't that be fun? What a great thing to add to any project I make with this which was part of the other haul. If you want to see a flip through of this, it's in the other one, but won't that just jazz up some of these pages? Perfect. I love these books, magazines, whatever, the special paw print edition of, special edition of the magazine paw print, I guess. But, oh, look at that face and absolutely stunning, gorgeous, beastly pictures in here throughout plus a truckload of wonderful reading. And if you spent three minutes here on this channel, you know that I love learning about dogs and the psychology and behaviors and safety and health. And so I can't wait to just curl up one Sunday and read this cover to cover. Where should you pet a dog? Oh, yes, please. That's Bitsy's favorite spot. Right there, right there on the chest. Oh, thanks. Not so much in my head. Don't touch my head. But oh, right there. She'll even lift her paw. If I can find a video, I'll show you. You rub her chest and you stop and she, she bats your hand. No, no, more. Come on, just a little more. Oh, come on. Don't stop. <laughs> Good morning. Oh, such a pretty girl. She's such a pretty girl. More, please. Okay. More, please. More, please. Okay. You're such a funny girl. More, please. <laughs> right? Right. You're a funny girl. You're such a good girl. Yes, a good girl. Anyway. I don't know that I will do anything other than love this magazine up. I don't think I'll ever have the heart to cut it up. Someone gets me another copy for sure. I'll be tearing the shite out of it and using it for my dog's glue book. But this will just be a treasured addition to my dog book collection, probably. And this little guy, mom said she just fell in love with him and he was so cute. And those big blue eyes and his name is Tink and he's a beanie baby I've only had a few beanie babies in my whole life I think I, I still have a couple of my original ones but I was never much into them but you know I'm all, all kinds of into Boston Terriers and he has a little piggly quirky screw tail and pointed ears so we know it's a Boston and the little flame of white between their eyes and the little tuxedo He's wonderful. I'll probably carry him everywhere with me. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with him. But he's wonderful. Check this out. 2024 
planner and it's oh it's just a lovely planner I don't know anyone who's into paper who isn't into planning and office supplies in general and all this stuff just gets us lit up all the way around um, it's got all these beautiful soft colored stickers that coordinate with the the colored tabs for each of the months and it's got and a lot of these calendars only have one page but this has several pages of stickers so I'm kind of torn. I'm going to do a planner video here. On one hand, I just want to use it and love it up and use it for what it's meant for, a kind of a personal planner, because I have work planners, and that's what the video is about, sort of. I guess we'll talk more about that in that video. But I'm torn of different ways to use this, and that's what I'll share in the other video, because I hate to just use it up in one year and have it be done. So I have another plan, but that is a video for another day. I also got, I got this for myself, truth be told, because it was on clearance, because someone tore the cover. But my mom used to, before COVID, they would shop downstate all the time at the big malls and go to the cal calendar stores. My mom doesn't shop online, she shops in buildings, and so when they were downstate she'd go to the calendar store and she'd get me a wall size and a smaller size boston terrier calendar every year for years and years well covid hit she had to go to a store and all she could find were generic dogs well the last couple of years she had a real hard time finding dog calendars at all so when i saw this one on clearance for five bucks i thought oh there i'll, I'll get myself in it it is uh, all different kinds of bulldogs. Boston Terriers used to be called Boston Bulldogs, but so much confusion, they just went to Boston Terriers. And it's hard to tell, this might be a French Bulldog because of the rounded ears. Bostons have very pointy ears, but not when they're pups, so it's really hard to tell. I'm gonna say this is a Boston just because we have a Frenchie and we have a Frenchie and we have American Bulldogs and English Bulldogs and just all kinds of Bulldogs. Aren't they wonderful? But mom found one this year called Dog Dreams. Sleeping Beastlies. Aren't they beautiful? They're so beautiful. I love this guy all curled up. Such a funny baby, all cozied up on their backs with their favorite teddy in a cozy. What does this have to do with crafting or junk journaling? Well, I've, I've started turning my large calendars into glue books. I'll link that video below. And I'm going to talk about other options for planners in an upcoming video. So so keep an eye out for that. That's what it has to do with crafting. Another thing that my mom got for me uh, are these Pilot Razor Point Markers. This nice little teeny tiny fine liner. Not unlike a Micron or a Staedtler fine liner. They are a 0.5 millimeter and they're all the same and they're black ink. And uh, I don't know if this will come up on camera or not, but they're sparkly. They're glittery. Just like a space gray with speckles of sparkle in it. They're so cool. And these are great for calendars, for quick sketches. Uh, sketches like, like this. Or sketches, uh, I do a quick watercolor and then ink do some inking. I do that a lot and these are perfect for that. Plus they're just nice writing pens just to write with. So I, I have done a tiny little bit with these and I really like them. So if you're looking for a new pen to try, I highly recommend those. And the last thing that mom got for me is something called Fall Into Autumn Metallic Paper Pad by Violet Studio. I'm thinking maybe she got it at our new Marshalls store. It looks too high end for Dollar Tree. I don't think Meyer, maybe Meyer might have it. I don't think Walmart would have it. So it's just metallic papers, a nice rose gold, coppery kind of color. And um, 
What else do we have? There's 12 pieces in here. So a rose gold, a gold gold, and a copper. Very pretty. That'll be fun to play with. And not just specifically for fall. It certainly works for fall, but not just for fall. That's a quickie for you. Just a little little super dog haul. Make, some, make you smile a little bit because... Again, I say, look at that vase. Stay tuned for calendar videos and try me videos, all kinds of things coming up. So stay tuned. Go love up your beastlies. Take really good care of them because they take such good care of us. You have a lovely, lovely crafty day. My take at the lake. Out for now. <laughs>